Hi everyone, my name is Zoe and welcome to our video tutorial today on companies. This is such a great feature, especially for those of you who may have guests that travel frequently for work and would like tax invoices under their business name. We can create their company with a new book, attach it to their bookings, and we can choose to generate the billing into their company client account. The first area we'll be showing you is how we can actually add a company with a new book. Using our menu search in the top left, we're going to search and locate our companies. Once we click into here, it's going to display a list of existing companies that have previously been set up. If we would like to create a brand new one, all we do is click add company in the top bar. Once that add company page is loaded, we then need to head into our company details tab to start registering the company information. The first option is the name. This is not the name of the person you're speaking to, it is the name of the business itself. As an example, I'm creating one for Smith Pty Limited, and on the right I'm then going to enter who the contact person is. We'll be entering Erin Smith as she is the owner of this business, and depending on what other info she'd like to provide us will depend on whether we fill in these other areas in the system. Moving on to the next tab here, we have our billing details, and I would like to point out this section here. Bookings bill to client account. Within the company, we can actually preset who will be paying for the bookings when they are placed within the system. If we leave it on individual booking client account, that generally indicates that the guest or the person traveling for work purposes is going to settle their own account under their name. However, for those of you who may have guests that travel for work and the company will be settling the bill, you can choose to generate all of the charges for their stay into a company client account. The company client account can be great to use because it allows us to bill multiple bookings into the one client account. Therefore, the company can give us a call to pay off a particular booking that's in that account. They could settle multiple outstanding balances within that account or even balance the entire account off. It's really up to you and what your payment terms and conditions are with that specific company. Moving over to the right, we then have an option here called restricted tariffs or restricted rates. It's currently on no and all this really means is that if this particular company was to make a booking, they're eligible to book our standard prices that we have available for everyone to book. If we do change this to yes, there is a feature within our tariffs or rates where we can actually apply the price to a particular company. Therefore, when this is on yes, if this particular company makes a booking, they will only be eligible to book that particular price that we've actually applied to their company. If it's not available, then they're unable to book that price or any other price. Moving underneath, we then have our address details of the business. It's very much like setting up a new guest. We're just entering all of their contact information and anything important that we need to note down about them. Once we've selected that, it pre-fills below, then we can enter their contact details underneath. Email address might be their accounts email. So it could be accounts at smithptyltd.com.au and then below their mobile or cell phone number. If they do not have that information to give you, again moving over to the right where we can remove that. We then have a notes tab. This is a great way for us to enter a note relating to the company that can help our staff identify or understand what we might need to do with the billing when we make a booking for that company. As an example, I'm going to select the add note button on the right hand side. Once my pop-up box appears, I can then enter the content within here. I've already got a note that I've created called company will settle all payments for any booking made. We can then choose how we would like the note to appear. I just want it to display as general information. We can then save that note and every time we make a booking with that company that note will actually attach to the booking so we see it nice and clearly. To keep this scenario nice and simple I'm then just going to select save. Once that's saved it will reload to show the new company. It displays our company note right at the top and all of our details that we've now pre-filled. We can then select the companies button in the top left which will take us back to the list of all the existing companies that we now have created in the system. As we now know where to locate our companies in NewBook and also how to create them, I'd like to walk us through exactly how we can actually create bookings and attach companies to them. Heading over to our favorites and clicking into the bookings chart option here, we're going to make a booking for a guest that will be traveling for work purposes. They're wanting to stay in a luxury villa for three nights from the 24th to the 26th. 
If we hover over, we can get our price and then heading to the top of the page, we select our Add from Chart and then New Booking. Once this page loads, it's going to allow us to add in all of our relative booking information. With this particular scenario, we're going to be adding a booking for a guest that's traveling for work, but only once. Then most likely not going to be traveling for work purposes again. So all we need to do is search and select our guest profile. Once we've selected her guest profile, we can then head over to our optional booking details tab. On the right of this screen, we have a company option where we can click into to search and select any existing companies that have previously been set up in the system. Once I select this, it will then attach it to the booking. If the company did not appear within that drop down list, always bear in mind you can select the plus sign on the right to create a new company then and there. As we've now correctly selected our company, I would like to move into our booking billing section below, where you'll see the quoted tariffs or the quoted rates is highlighted and the standard price is what we've selected below with our calculated stay cost. When I created that company before, I actually set that I wanted the billing to generate into the company client account. That's why we can see here within our default client account that it's automatically selected the company account. If there's nothing else that I need to cross check with this particular booking, all I really need to do is select save booking in the top. That will then create our booking ID with our success message and directly underneath that, it also gives us the company information note that I set up on that company earlier, advising that the company will settle all payments for any bookings made. You will notice that on the right hand side within the booking billing section, it's advising us what the total tariff or rate is and it is also indicating quite clearly that the booking is billing to the company client account. Moving underneath, we can then see all of the client accounts that are attached to this booking. So we have the company, booking and the guest. We will notice that the purple line is highlighted on the company, which is always indicating that that is where their default client account is set to bill all charges within their stay. As we've now completed this booking, we can head into our next company booking scenario. For those of you who may have specific guests that travel frequently for work, we're able to set a company up within their guest profile. That way it makes it easier for you to make bookings for them because it automatically attaches the company each time. In order for us to set a company within a guest profile, we're able to either edit an existing guest by selecting the edit pencil, once the pop-up box appears, on the right we can then search and select the company that has already been set up. Once we select this and then save the guest, next time it will automatically pre-fill the company section here. In order to show you exactly how this works, if we click into the menu search and create another booking, when we get to the add booking screen, you'll notice the optional booking details is currently blank. However, when we head back over to our primary guest section and search and select, once it's selected, it will reload and the optional booking details will pre-fill the company and you'll notice that her default client account has also defaulted there for us as well. As we've now created a company booking, I would like to show you exactly how we can generate tax invoices for these particular bookings and send them off to the companies so that we can receive payment for them. In order for us to be able to generate an invoice, we need the charges for their nightly rate to be generated onto their account. This simply means that in our booking billing area here, we need to ensure that the generate billing now button is switched to yes if we'd like to raise an invoice. We need to also ensure that we've got our rate selected and other than that we can simply press save and that will ensure that when we create this booking it will show that that rate has been generated into the company account below. If we would now like to send the company an invoice for the amount of accommodation they need to pay us, we can then click into the company client account, which is where those items are listed. Once you're on the view of the client account, you'll see the red text indicating there is an outstanding amount on the company account. If we have a look here, we have our overall balance, which tells us exactly how much is outstanding. And underneath, we then have our client account ledger, which actually lists out all charges that are outstanding on the account or any items that have actually occurred within this account so far. You'll be able to see the booking column here, which will list out all of the different reservations or booking IDs that have had charges generated into this specific account. It is important that if you're only wanting to create one invoice for a specific booking, that you tick all specific items pertaining to that booking ID. 
As an example, I need to issue an invoice just for booking 128016. So I'm going to ensure I tick both of those options. If I simply need to send an invoice for those two items, I can then, with the selected items, select the invoice option. This will then take us to an add invoice screen and it allows you to check over some of the details such as the account it's being issued into and who it is being issued to. You'll see there's a due on date that is defaulted in here. This can be manually adjusted at an invoice level. Alternatively, you can change the default setting within our instance setting page. If we save, that's then going to display our tax invoice for us. And if we wish to send this off to the company, we can use our send contact button in the top. Alternatively, if the company was on the phone, we could also pay this invoice off immediately via credit card gateway. If we take a look back at the client account, you will then see an invoice sitting within the account for Jane Doe's booking. To expand the invoice, you can click on the arrow, which will display any items within that invoice. If you wish to re-view or print the invoice, you can click on it again and it will take you to the view of that invoice as well. As I've now shown you how to create a manual invoice within the company client account, I'd like to show you another option that we have, which is great for guests that may be traveling for work and request that you send them a tax invoice upon departure. This feature is great as it ensures that your staff do not have to go into a company account and actually manually generate an invoice. What NewBook will do is automatically pull all of the items into an invoice as soon as you check the guest out. This setting can also be defaulted within your NewBook system to ensure that every booking has an invoice generated automatically upon completion of departure. If we head to our today's summary and go into our due to depart list, We'll see we have a booking here for Jane Doe who is leaving today. If we simply head to the checkout button on the right, on our checkout screen, we have an option within here called invoice remaining items. If we want to do this, we simply change this to yes. And what it will do is expand to show what client accounts it has its items generating into where we can see the company account. If we're happy for NewBook to automatically place any items in that company account relating to Jane's booking into an invoice, all we do is confirm the checkout and that will actually generate an invoice for us. From here, we can then send that off to the company. Lastly, if you are using invoicing with a new book and you would like to keep an eye on the payment statuses of those invoices, we do have a report you're able to use. If we head to our main menu search and type in invoices, you'll locate our invoices report. You'll then be able to define the date range that you'd like to look at and also the invoices you would like to specifically look at. You also have your advanced options where you can filter invoices that have been generated onto specific types of client accounts, such as companies. If we run this report, you'll then get a list of the invoices, the numbers, and also on the right, how much has actually been issued and what the balance of that is and when it's due by. In addition to our invoices report, if we head to our menu search, we also have our companies report, which we can click into here. This is a great report to see how many bookings we receive from your various companies that you have set up. Select your date range. Specify whether you would like to run this report in a summary version or if you'd like to list out the individual bookings. Click into the advanced options and also have a look at whether you would like to filter out any additional fields. Also have a look at the filter by drop down options as this will advise what information will actually display on this report when we run it. If we run the report now, you'll see I've got my company, how many bookings I've received and the total cost here and other reporting statistics. That does bring us to the end of our video tutorial today on companies. For additional assistance in setting this feature up or for any other FAQs on this feature, simply click into the question mark icon in the top right corner of each page and you'll be able to locate our helpful knowledge base for detailed step-by-step -step guides.